Good morning, YouTube. Dave here. Well, uh, it's in the high heat of beautiful downtown Stockton. It's only supposed to be 101 today, which uh, we're on a heating trend. They said in the next couple of days it could get up. They they keep elevating the temperature. They said 108, and now they said by Friday or Saturday could be 110 here. Might be a good day to stay inside with the air conditioner. Anyway, I'm out here in the morning before it gets real hot and uh, just showing a little bit of progress I made. I, I went online and uh, uh, watched some of the uh, YouTube videos from the Russians. There's, there's a group of Russians out there that are just masters at, uh, now they call it coal forming, where they uh, bend, twist, uh, put, uh, they're, they're just uh, masters at this. And I wanted to show this, because I hadn't seen this before, and I went online. I, I wish I knew the guy's name. I, I watch uh, a lot of these videos. I don't understand Russian, so I don't understand a word they're saying. But they explain everything, they show everything, and uh, this one gentleman did this, uh, I don't know what you call it, waffle pattern. And he uh, showed how he did it. He, this is uh, actually uh, just a couple pieces of pipe. I think I used a two and a half inch uh, Sked 40. And on his, he, right here, you can see a hole. There's a hole here and a hole here. On his, he did a slot so he could move it around. And, and I figured, um, I'm not an ornamental iron guy, and I just want to do what I do, so I just drilled a couple holes and, and it either go here or here. And then uh, he showed the other one that he put a, a, I don't know what he had in there. I used a piece of pipe. This is a three quarter inch pipe and uh, just centered up, welded. If you can see there's a little little bolt here and what I did is I drilled all the way through so that uh, the the, uh, the metal right here that I used to bend it with is uh, as you can see one sides about a half inch longer than the other and what that does is it uh, through and uses the table as a fulcrum, bends off the table, so that uh, basically that just keeps both pieces of pipe in the same position at, at all times. Now, I'm uh, uh, a YouTuber that usually just shows what I do, and I don't really show how I do everything. But this time, um, I would really like to thank that uh, that guy for showing me how to do it. But I'm going to try to do this, see if I can. I'm gonna show you how, how we bend it. How it already started. This is, this is such a simple. I'll make sure it goes all the way down. Flush that. It comes over here to my stop. Up. This is just so simple. So simple. Even I can do it. I'll just make sure I flush out, keep it flat, and come around. And what that does makes all your waffle patterns equal the same. They come out uh Symmetrical, shall we say, and uh, we can go up here. And what I'm doing, whoa, the sun is bright. Oh, sorry about that, got it right in the eyes. But um, I'm I'm putting a a support structure for the expanded metal up here, and this is going to be the landing. Now this is actually actually is a landing which is uh, uh, 
just a part of the deck but uh, this little waffle pattern with the two inch by eighth inch uh, flat bar stand it on on edge and uh, then I'll put I'll weld my uh, expanded metal I got one more little strip to finish it off up here to uh, uh, come up to the tubing and then I'll uh, have to come up with a design for this one and uh, for over here I believe I'm going to build a scrolling jig, scrolling machine, which uh, I have to tell you the the Russians are really good at at uh, making their own tools and jigs and everything. And I watched uh, a whole bunch of them, and these guys are are so generous with their knowledge, and and I can't recognize any of them. I. Uh, subscribed and and saved them but it's all in Cyrillic I don't speak Russian so I don't really know who uh, any of these guys are but uh, if you really want to see how to scroll and make patterns and twists and they make baskets want to make a, a basket machine they make they make uh, these tools so easy that uh, you don't really have to understand what they're what they're saying they they show you step by step this is going to be my scroll jig right here and they use a bearing and I just happen to have a big old bearing here and in my case what I did was a, a piece of four inch sked 80 fits right on there perfect so I'll weld a, a couple bolts across from each other or something bolt it down and my scroll jig will weld on top of this and this will go into this this uh, three inch tubing man I'm uh, blind this morning and this will fit right over here on the end so that I'll have my scroll jig here I'm gonna actually mount it on the trailer as uh, you can see what I did here was that uh, support post I think goes in about 12 inches or something like that and my uh, observation deck will still be out there so what I did was I just made made my uh, dog legs just uh, wowie out a little bit there leave this area right here all clear for my uh, scroll area and uh, I think it's going to come out good. Uh, make progress really slow, but um, my what what my little problem is is working up there so high in the middle of nowhere. Uh, this scaffold right here is only six feet tall, and I'm only about five ten, and that top of that structure up there it's almost 13 feet I'm gonna say you know three or four inches under 13 feet I keep it under 13 feet so all, I can get under all bridges uh, but uh, that means everything's over my head now I got this scaffold here which has an extra couple feet on it which which means when I stand up there my head's above it so instead of uh, six feet this one's eight feet and somehow I'm gonna get this scaffold down to this end because I I have to do the whole uh, top is going to be an observation deck but I want to start here because this is where I have the uh, spiral staircase and I made my landing so I, I uh, got to start down at this end and I don't know if you guys, anybody bought any metal, any uh, wood, any anything lately. Things have just went outrageous. I, I went down and bought another sheet. This is a, a three quarter inch number nine expanded flattened, which is a, I think you call it like 10 gauge or eighth inch, something like that. 
But, it, but that's why I'm building that structure up there to support it underneath because I think this is just going to be a really cool uh, deck to walk around on. But my point is, I bought a couple sheets of this and they charged me uh, $56, which uh, in the um, high uh, cost of metal, that's actually a pretty good price. And, and I only bought two, I need seven because I ran out of money because the tubing... The square tubing up there, that last tube I bought was like 93 bucks. And uh, so I only had enough money for a couple sheets. Went down and got another sheet, so I got three, enough to get up here, walk around. And this stuff here, overnight, went from 56 to 76. And, uh, so this, uh, I believe we're in, uh, inflationary period right now gas is going up metals going up uh wood everybody's i don't do any wood but but uh, my neighbor and everybody's saying that the wood has doubled in price a, a sheet of three quarter inch uh, plywood is is uh getting close to 100 bucks now and uh they're killing us they're killing me anyway you guys thanks for watching and uh when i get something done i'll I'll do another video. Thanks. Bye.